So, a good day to everyone. We are from group one. <laughs> Today, we are going to be present about German Highland and Pula Rawa. And uh, let me introduce my teammates first. First, Kaushni Gunasekran. Second is uh, Putra Hafiz. Third is Ma Madurai Vira. And fourth is Rina Alvin. And fifth member is Bavitra Anbarasu, which is me. And then we go to the, the second part. And this is our table of content. And uh, we are going to be here about six topics. Topic one is about introduction. So I'm going to do the introduction about Germ Island first. Germ Island is a place, a, a ideal location for you if you are searching for a peace and quiet place, like from the people from the city with the noises every day we are hearing noises, right? So this is a wonderful place for us to spend our holiday to like to come ourselves from February. A very natural beauty beauty island, including a magnificent ocean adventures, and is also is a good place for the jungle as exploration as well. And when we look at this place, it's only eight hundred meters to the north of Pula Kapas. This is the little archaeologist is situated on the ground on the marine convert. Uh, Conversation area in Trangans East. And following is like the island is natural rock shore landscape, and then with uh, white sand, clear waters, view of uh, amazing underwater seascapes uh, of corals and marine life as well. And uh, like this place is for people who prefer to travel and be in nature, gem get away for a peaceful vacation. For people who prefer to travel, be in nature, gem island is the, sorry, gem island is the ideal holiday destination. It is the ideal place for a newly couple to spend time together apart from guests who are there for pleasures. Like when we feel to spend our time in a peaceful place to think more so this gym island is a one one of the beautiful place to spend our time and when we are looking about its room it's also from the balcony of their water villa rooms travelers can see schools of black chip sharks swimming along the beach between germ and kapas island in the early morning as well so there are a lot of experience and first like if you ask me i will choose the nature activities such as underwater discovering and uh, shark spots as as i told before the black deep sharks and we can see from the balcony of the villa's room and here also got a turtle hatchlings and following i would like to introduce about introduction for Pulau Rawa as well and Pulau Rawa is a tiny and a beautiful island and Pulau Rawa uh, may be found around 16 kilometers which is 10, 10 miles off the east coast of Peninsula Malaysia. If it weren't for the silky white sand that line its western so the island which is surrounded by clear blue waters and jungle veterinary staring for a footing on the rooked cliffs. And uh, would have been completely overlooked by the tourist trade. When we have the like clear blue, blue water in the sky, we will feel like calm and we will enjoy that place as well. So because of this island's location, it has become one of the most popular destination in the region. And the owner of this island is the Sultanate of Johor. And it has been developed with great care with two very small resorts on it. This location just cannot be beat for anyone in need of the where we can get away. 
since it offers the best condition possible. And uh, the company Rawa Safari Sanjayan Baha is in charge of managing Rawa Island. It is well known for the fantasy snorkeling and scuba diving spot that can be found there. Another fun and relaxing activity for us to enjoy our holidays as well. And I would like to pass the second slide to our, my teammate. Thanks for the introduction, Vitra. Hi, guys, and our lecturer. So as you all know, my name is Madhuri Viran. Uh, first, of, first of all, I would like to thank our lecturer for giving this opportunity and you guys as well for giving this opportunity and having me in this group. So I will explain about the map of Pulau Rawa and Jam Island. First of all, I will explain about Jam Island. Jam Island is called, also called about Jimia Island or Pulau Jimia in Malay. It is tiny, new and private island located in the eastern part of Terengganu Malaysia. It is about 800 meters away from Kapas Island with an area of nine, nine acres. Jam Island is one of the most beautiful islands in Terengganu. Since the island is still very new, there is almost no development, but we can find only one resort on the island. The name of the resort is Jam Island Resort and Spa. This small island attracts many tourists to come because of the beautiful sunrise in Roma. Next is Pulau Rawa. Pulau Rawa is more commonly to guest Pulau, guest Rawa Island Resort. It's situated 16 kilometers from Mersing. This island is closed during monsoon season, October to February. This is due to strong wind blow and rough sea may cause harm and danger to the visitors. Travel within this period may lead to disappointment. To get best sunny days and bright sunshine, plan your visit between April to September, especially during June and July. For booking both for full package, including speedboat transportation to Pular Rover, guests can drop an email or call them. That's all for the map. Thank you, guys. Next, I will pass to Rina to continue our presentation. Thank you, Madhuri. Uh, the transportation to Jam Island. There are only one method travel to Peninsula to Jam Island, which only can take the speedboat to Jam Island from Jetty Marang, Terengganu. Transportation to Jetty Marang. There are several ways to reach the Jetty Marang from Kuala Lumpur. You can choose option one, option two, or option three uh, to reach the Jetty Marang. Okay. So option one is via plan, plane, and then option two via bus, and option three via car. How to go Jetty Marang? Option one, plane. Kuala Lumpur International Airport, Malaysia Island, um, Airlines, or AirAsia. The ticket price will be 60 ringgit to 261 way. After arriving at the airport, grab a taxi to Marang Jetty. Taxi fare will be 50 to 60 per way. Okay. How to go Jetty Marang? Terminal uh, is Terminal Bersepadu Selatan TBS. You can use Sunny Express, e Mutiara. The ticket price will be 40 to 50 one way. After arriving at Marang Bus Terminal, walk about seven minutes to Jetty Marang. Option three by car. You can use Kara and East Coast Highway. After arriving, Jetty Marang Park can park the car at Surya Link Office. Seven ringgit per day for the parking fee. Okay, for the transportation to Pulau Rawa, guests must travel to Mersing Jetty to reach the highland by speedboat. Transportation to Jet Jetty Mersing. There are several ways to, to reach the Jetty Mersing. The option one is via uh, bus, two is via car, and three via plane. Option one, bus. Trip to KL trip from KL to Mersing Jetty, which may take about five hours plus, depending on the traffic. The departure time is around 9 a.m. to 11.45 p.m. It will cost about 32 ringgit 80 cent to 41 ringgit 50 cent for adults and 28 ringgit 50 cent to 38 ringgit 30 cent for children. How to go Jetty Mersing? By car from KL to Mersing. It would take about four hours to drive. 
depending on the condition of the traffic. Three routes can be taken, one from KL to Aya Itam, Kluang and Kaya. They are a way of travelling by flight but you must land at Senai and then rent a car. Okay, option three. You can use a flight. You, the flight will be Penang to Mersing, uh, Penang to Senai or KL to Senai. From Sena, you need to take a grab or taxi to Jetty Mersing. Next, I'm passed to my teammates. Thank you, Rina. Hi, all. I'm Kaushini. Today, I'm going to explain to you what is the interesting part in Jerm Island and Pularawa. So now I'm going to talk about Jerm Island. So Jerm Island has its own three-star resort which is built on the ridges of the coastline, thus preserving the hills and their natural physical formation. It consists of 45 rooms in total to see the frontage villas consist consisting of four premier villas. So as you can see here, there is premium villa. It has 35 water villas. And this, this, this is a very interesting villa that you can see in Jem Island. And it's so beautiful. And when, when we talk about the water villa, it has 35 water villas. It's cheap than other villas and suit because uh, then the people who has a less income or what they can prefer water villa and when we talk about the high hideaway suit hideaway suit has two only because it is expensive and people who really prefer to pay more they can go for highway and it, it's look very beautiful and compared to the hydrate villa too because suit and villa is not same it's it's just a little bit uh, differences on the prices and all the villas are occupied with air conditioning and king size bed which is side with longest so now i'm going to talk about the interesting fact uh, in Pulau Rawa, which is the accommodation, there are four type of accommodation, which is hillside deluxe, beach view Charlotte, waterfront bungalow, and Frankie Pani Villa. Provide guests with the opportunity to participate in a wide variety of water sports, such as snorkeling, kayaking, scuba diving, sailing hobby cats, and island hopping. Guests may also take pleasure in walking about the island or climbing to the park of island, where they will be rewarded with breathtaking view of South China Sea and the island that are in the surrounding areas. So first, I'm going to talk about the Hill Deluxe. Hill Deluxe is the comfort of this roomy accommodation. You can take in the Verfan landscape outside, relax in the tranquilly, and it's really stillness, and it's take in the breathtaking views of the nature world. There, there when, when, we, when we take the Hillside Deluxe, there is full of greeny, and it's so natural, and uh, you will feel peaceful when you take the hillside deluxe. When we talk about uh, the beach view chalet, these cozy cottage are placed in a prime location along the pre premier beach, affording visitors a picture perfect view of the sand and the waters. The beach view is like every hotel will have the beach view rooms. So this, this Pularawa also providing a beach view uh, accommodation to to make the guests feel the the nature of the beach view of sand and cozy. Next, I'm going to talk about the waterfront bungalow. This 
self contained cottage which are separate spread out over the ocean provides a view of the south china sea that are uh, unstructured each of units are occupied with the spacious balcony complete with deck chairs for pro private sun bathing and light filled bathrooms and last but not least I'm going to talk about the fun Frangi Pani Villas. These villas provide visitors with more solute than other accommodation on the pro property since they uh, have their own private beach and other situated are since distant from the other dining areas. So next I'm going to talk about the interesting part where we can see in the germ island. First and foremost, there is a snorkeling. Basically, snorkeling is where the, the people can uh, interested in going snorkeling with Mel during your time on Germ Island. You will feel absolutely uh, not miss out the participating in this activity. It is easy to understand why the snorkeling is so interesting. Then you can view the all the fish, uh, all the beautiful uh, stones under the water while you are snorkeling in Germ Island and kayaking. Kayaking is mainly because you're choosing to remain dry because you don't like to wear yourself then you can go for the kayaking because the beautiful the island has offered to see that enjoyable method to go about the island. Next, I'm going to talk about the jungle trekking. Jungle trekking is where we can go for the jungle, seeing birds, seeing monkeys, and uh, you know, while 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 when we doing the jungle trekking, we can meet some people, then we can make a friend with them, and it's you can see the greeny freshness, peaceful in Germ Island while you jungle trekking. And last but not least, I'm going to talk about the scuba diving. Scuba diving is like uh, you dive to see the turtle hatching eggs and you can see they, they won't harm you. They are really fr friendly and they, some of the turtles uh, are let people to see the eggs. Now I'm going to talk about the interesting fact in uh, Pula Rawa. First is snorkeling. After seeing the astonished purity of the water, let, let me know you if you are interested in going snorkeling uh, during the time in Pula Rawa. You, you are really going to enjoy the, the the view and enjoy the water the fresh water and the beautiful fish and kayaking is uh, as i said before it's if you are don't to wet yourself then you can go for kayaking and while when you're doing the kayaking you can see the beautiful sceneries along the water and fish and and you you also can feel the beautiful of the surrounding water along walk along the island trade is this well made path such as the hip tall walk it is a 40 minute trail then you have to walk along the water sometimes people can go for water and sometimes people want to feel right then they walk along the sand then you can feel fresh mind relief and you can stretch out because it's it's a beautiful scenery they made in Pula Rawa. and last but not least i'm going to talk about beach water slide beach water slide is where is the interesting part in Pula Rawa. people will definitely go for this because Pula Rawa, because there is a water beach slide even me i really prefer to uh, go for the beach slide because when 
when you will slide and you, when you will get into the sea, you 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 won't get that interesting that rather than go for the escape park or theme park. So it it feels super nature uh, when you use the beach water slide. So these are the interesting part activities that you can find in Pularawa. So uh, now I'm going to pass this slide to Rina. OK, conclusion for James Highland, wonderful tourism spot. OK, and then affordable, relaxing holiday. OK, facility and hospitality hospitality are provided. OK, and then Pulau Rawa will be a, day, a two day we can stay on the highland is advised and suited suitable for family with children. OK, the highland also provide adventurous tourists with a wealth of ecotourism activity. OK, here are some recommendations I pass to my teammates. Hi, thank you. Hi. I'm Kaushini again. Today I'm going to talk about the recommendation part in which we can maintain or we can enhance in Pulau Rawa and Jam Island. So first and foremost, I'm going to talk about difficulty to direct reach Jam Island and Pulau Rawa. When we talk about difficulties, yes, it's true. It's very hard to get uh, to go to Jam Island and Pulau Rawa. It's totally totally difficult the 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 the, the traveling cost and the, the the place is so private so people are getting hard to go there so there are some so there are some recommendation then to to prevent from difficulties increase the amount of speedboat for higher trip frequency reaching the Gem Islands, which is uh, the, the the speedboat is really limited, so we can increase it to make sure all the guests can go to Gem Island frequently. Instead of providing speedboats, provides ferries, which is more convenient and could could take up a lot of passenger in one trip. Providing an airport for direct trips, no boat rides needed to reach the Island. So I think this is more convenience to to people reach the Jam Island in Pulau Rawa if we make this recommendation real. OK, so let's see the another uh, problem is limited place to eat in Jam Island in Pulau Rawa. Yes, it's true because that place is really private. Then the food resources are not enough to to reach the Jam Island Pularawa. So since here is only one restaurant on the island, provide more restaurant, which is more variety of cuisine as tourists are unable to go as anywhere to get food other than the island. As I said, the restaurant only offer buffet are certainly however, which can differ by also allowing tourists to define in whenever they want. Set up stalls or even convenience stores so tourists could have easy access for food. So these are the overcome issue for the limited place in to eat in Pular Rawa in Jam Island. And last but not least, I'm going to talk about the securities are non extinct during V hours. Reshuffle patrol schedule schedules by ensuring securities are allowed always on duty during these hours as it is more dangerous to prevent unwanted incident to the tourists. Hire more securities and do frequent patrol as tourists would be unsafe if the island is not attentive during V hours. Make sure that the security camera installed on the island are functioning with the Tight surveillance. I think these are the most common issue that every every island will face because they will have a less securities in the island. So I we are come up with this kind of recommendation to ensure that 
they feel safe to visit Jam Island and Florawa. So, as the slide to Putra to explain more about the reflection part. Thank you. Uh, greetings. Thank you to my teammates. My name is Putra Hafiz Fadli bin Mulyadi, and I'm going to present about reflection. Uh, reflection has three parts uh, reflection on the group, project, and assimilation. So, first thing first, I'm going to touch about the reflection in the group. So, as a group, uh, we face challenges, and as a group also, we try to create a solution for we so that we can work together more properly and smoothly. So the first challenge that we got are uh, about meeting new friends because some of us are for the first time meeting. So as a solution, we do our ice breaking before we do any project. We will be uh, introducing ourselves more. So we, uh, so in the future when we work, uh, they are less awkward and our work will be uh, more smoothly. And the second place is uh, we think about a place where we could uh, discuss uh, about our assignment. So we create a WhatsApp group for a place to discuss and submit any concern about the project uh, and discuss it together. Uh, also, uh, it's about the assignment task procedure. So about the assignment, uh, we divide the assignment task evenly among the members. So there's no one, one will be doing more or one will be doing less. And then the last uh, challenges that we uh, that we have is about time management, uh, management time, juggling with work and studies. So as a group, uh, giving the uh, absolute support and cooperate to help uh, the others that are busy sometimes, uh, our solution so that we can help them finish that task uh, together and faster. Uh, secondly, I'm going to touch about the reflection on the project. So as we progress in making this uh, project, we realize that most of the research are from the internet. So when we're searching for official activities at the sites, the official uh, the sites, they are very difficult because they are more focused on uh, pricing, uh, villas, uh, introducing what they have, what they had, but they didn't introduce much in their activities. So thankfully, there are reviews from people, experiences that have been there and help from other group members to search information together to help in completing our works. And our second reflection in the progress is when we are doing this uh, presentation. Uh, okay, some are familiar with uh, other programs, some are familiar with maybe Zoom and Team uh, to record the presentation. So there have been a little confusion. So as a result, as a solution, we are agreed to use Microsoft Team for the recording. But we discussed first and not limiting others from using other programs if they knew how to use it. Excuse me. And then last but not least, our reflection assimilation. If you think about it, assimilation, we can be we can be working together greatly, even with different ethnicity, different background, we can work together peacefully and greatly smoothly without any differences. And lastly, assimilation, if we think about it, we have a wealth of undiscovered tourist attraction in our nation. And with that here, rather than seeking to travel abroad without first uh, appreciating, uh, appreciating what we have here, we should instead support our effort to promote our own country domestic tourism. That's it for reflection. That's thank you for me. That's all from our group, uh, group one. Thank you so much for hearing. Thank you so much, everyone.